James is an old and dear friend of mine. We've met at university and have stayed in touch more or less since then. Uh, he lives in Spain, uh, but was over visiting his mum uh, and stayed with me last weekend. So Gregor, uh, what is the purpose of life? I wasn't particularly prepared for the question. Uh, we'd gone out for a beer and the conversation had been wide ranging. James is an excellent conversationalist and someone who thinks deeply about what matters in life. Raised by a hippie mum, uh, he had inherited an apparently unshakable belief in the power of star signs to determine character. But that aside, he was a highly intelligent and deeply thoughtful individual who had um, uh, considerable insight. I valued his friendship and wisdom. I really wasn't sure what to say immediately. There are perhaps a range of off-the-peg Christian responses, uh, perfectly valid, but uh, they can sometimes sound trite uh, or incomprehensible to a person you're talking to. James would sniff out a pre-packaged answer immediately, and what I wanted to be, more than anything, uh, was sincere. Real to him in the moment, even if my response was a bit scrappy around the edges. Let me know what you think and I'll tell you if you're right, he joked. He clearly had an answer up his sleeve, but was waiting to see what I would say. James, I said, I think where I'd start is with my conviction that life does actually have a purpose. I don't believe the universe is accidental. I don't believe we are merely the result of mindless biological processes. I believe there is an intelligence behind the universe, a creator who brought it into being. More than that, a creator who loves his creation, all of it, including you and me, uh, and who has a purpose for both of us. He, God, gives our life meaning. I could see he was glazing over slightly. Close, he said, uh, but I'll tell you the answer. Relationships. The purpose of life is to form healthy relationships. I thought about that a little. I thought about how God did not remain distant from his creation, but entered it at a moment in history, in a dusty backwater of a tiny nation on the edge of the Roman Empire. The ultimate demonstration, surely, of relationship. He, God, became like us in all our vulnerable, messy, painful humanity. James was right, I decided. The purpose of life was relationship. Uh, God's love for his creation, for you and me, his desire for relationship with us, which will lead in due course to the redemption, not only of our mortal bodies, but of the whole of creation. We have a relational God. Hallelujah. But why do I believe these things? What do I believe? Why do I believe my life has meaning and purpose in God? Um, this, I think, is where Christian hope comes in. It is a hope that comes from God and is rooted in the resurrection, that second seismic historical event through which we view the birth, life and death of Jesus. All praise to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is by his great mercy that we have been born again because God raised Jesus Christ from the dead. Now we live with great expectation and we have a priceless inheritance, an inheritance that is kept in heaven for you, pure and undefiled, beyond the reach of change and decay. 1 Peter 1, 3 to 4. But first we wait for the birth the entry of God into our world in physical form, a baby in whom, writes Paul, the fullness of God lives. An event which, while hidden from view, save for a few shepherds, wise men and his parents, begins a chain reaction that will change the universe. As the singer and songwriter Bruce Coburn wrote, there are others who know about his miracle birth, the humblest of people catch a glimpse of their worth. For it isn't to the palace that the Christ child comes, but to shepherds and street people, hookers and bums. And the message is clear if you've got ears to hear, that forgiveness is given for your guilt and your fear. It's a Christmas gift you don't have to buy. There's a future shining in a baby's eyes. Like a stone on the surface of a still river, 
driving the ripples on forever. Redemption rips through the surface of time in the cry of a tiny babe. Amen.